Hey everybody, I'm Andy Smith, your hostess with the mostess. I'm a 30 year comic book veteran, having worked for Marvel Comics, DC Comics, Image Comics, Cross Generation, Ominous Press, you name it, I've probably worked for them. And I do other things art wise outside of comics in the field of advertising. I've also written some books on drawing comics you might have seen, uh, drawing American manga superheroes, Drawing Dynamic Comics was my first book. And I also did the handy little How to Draw Superhero sketchbook where all you need is a pencil because you do all the work right inside the book. Enough about that. This is the Book Look series. The Book Look series is where I grab a book off my library. You can see the tons of books I have behind me. And I go through it page by page with you so you can see if it's a book that you might want to buy. I like to know what I want to buy before I buy it, and I feel this is a way to give you some insight into these books. So join me for today's book look. Thanks. Well, hello there. This is Andy Smith, your 31-year veteran of the comic book industry. That's right. I've done my time in the trenches of drawing comic books. No need for thanks. You're welcome. Anyhow, I've worked on uh, Marvel books, DC books, Image books, cross-gen, acclaimed, valiant, so on and so forth, written a book, as you saw in the, the intro, and as I like to say, I'm your host with the most, your guy with the awesome campaign, First Man, Luke Henry gets these strange powers, he is imbued with an essence to fight evil after defeating Monarch, he is now back on Earth looking to tackle college in the Fourth World Foundation, an awesome superhero book you can't put down. Check it out, link in the description below. Let's move on. Drawing Shortcuts is the book look today. Developing quick drawing skills using today's technology. Now, let's look at the copyright because this was one of the last books, uh, drawing books I remember asking for and my parents getting me for Christmas. And it was the year it came out. So let's see what year this book came out. Uh, some of these shortcuts will probably be good and some of them won't. Uh, let's see. 2002. So that sounds about right. Uh, so this came out 2002. So I've had it for 20 years. Um, of course, there's a preface. Now, I haven't looked through this book once again until I just pulled it off of my bookshelf. Uh, a lot of this stuff we'll see is really old school talking about, I mean, sketches and advertising agency used to be done quick like this. You'd have comp layouts doing things in marker like this. Now, of course, all that can be done on a computer. Um, quick perspective with a computer wire frame. So, I mean, this almost goes down to like SketchUp where you can just lay some quick stuff out, blocking things in and, uh, and then just print it out and use it as a perspective grid to add more details. So obviously there was computers back then, so computer skills versus drawing skills. One of my favorite things about this book, to be honest, is seeing, I love this old school advertising art for comps. So here's a photo reference. Trace the image from the photograph and then color the final drawing. I mean, <laughs> some people do that in comics. Uh, Three-step program, let technology do your dirty work. Uh, I want to say, no, that's a different eye level. All right, never mind. Uh, this, there's real magic and enthusiasm. This I found so interesting. Uh, they go into this later in the book, but basically they took a camera and took a photograph looking straight down. Or actually, they didn't even look straight down because this is all just from the camera. They took a photograph of basically a map, a topography map, where you just see the outlines of things. And they, they put their camera down at a certain eye level pop the photograph and then using the map to know what these things are like. These are trees right here, bushes around. This is the building shape. This is the driveway. From that, 
you can put tracing paper over that and then it's basically you've got the perspective laid out so pop in your vertical lines and you just project everything up and if you know the rules of perspective you can turn this into this and you'll know that all the depths and everything are accurate so i that was something i thought wow that is uh that is cool this just go okay so basic drawing types uh thumbnail perspective concept to show a concept of uh food court pair line drawing this pair line drawing that's not right is it no there's subtle perspective to it yeah they make it sound like all these are parallel and these are but there's not there's subtle perspective but all the verticals are parallel so i haven't read this in a while so line work and shading techniques you could definitely pull some of these in comics if you wanted to this is another reason i like this book for different inking techniques and all this inking is done pretty much with uh, a marker. So I thought this section on inking techniques and stuff was very cool. Thumbnail drawings, thumbnail sketches to tell a story, quick thumbnails there. And then here we have kind of a summation of quick tips. And this is another book I need to read again. Uh, concept drawings. I mean, this tells such a story. And I know if you printed this in comics, even if you took the way the marker coloring, I actually, I take it back. If you took away this marker coloring and gave this to a really good computer colorist, they could make this sing and you'd buy it as a comic style. I think so. Maybe not. Gathering data. So you can see uh, they're pulling all sorts of things. So they're using this photo right here for basic reference on perspective because perspective is already worked out. Working in a photo of a car from a clip book. I used to have a great illustration clip book. I, I miss so much and I haven't been able to find it again. So I'm about to, I'm about to choke up. Okay, moving on. It was such a great clip book, clip art. And you see that from these different photos, look at what they made. That's pretty cool. Like I said, a lot of this is just uh, drawing stuff I love. Uh, color or black and white. I mean, this is so nicely rendered. And then even in marker and colored pencil, it's beautiful. goes into selecting the right view for your drawing. So obviously this book isn't geared specifically towards comic books. And it's more about, you know, backgrounds, concept art and stuff like that. But what have I always said? You can always pull something from every how to draw book. I stand by it. You send me a how to draw book and prove me wrong. Send me a how to draw a book I've never heard of, and I'll still find a nugget. Look at this. Great aerial perspectives here. You know, I wish I would have pulled this book out uh, when I was drawing first, man, just to see different rendering ways of stuff. Two-point perspective. So it goes into perspective. I think I missed the page. One point perspective, step by step. Once again, you see the three things they grab together to make this final image for this concept piece. Two point, does it go into three point? Does it go into three point? That's so cool. Yes, three point perspective. More quick tips. Getting technical, what is a pair line drawing? The axonometric drawing, isometric drawing, yeah, so this is, isometric is, there's no perspective. So these lines going off to the left are all parallel. 
the lines going off to the right this way parallel and the verticals are parallel. It's isometric. There's no perspective in that. You can kind of get away with it as you see here, but yeah, I always suggest adding perspective. Always suggest it. This is really a lot about uh, city drawing, it almost looks like. So it goes into isometric drawing. Start your drawing. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for them to start their drawings. Use your imagination, of course. Be aware of the drawing detail. That is true. In other words, you need to, when drawing from imagination, it's easy to get trapped into showing too much detail. If you need to communicate only a rough concept, then keep the drawing fairly undeveloped. Obviously, for comics, you want to get in there. Show some good stuff, some good detail. Some quick tips. Uh, drawing from real life. So some nice uh, tips on drawing from real life here. This is neat. They took this building and then made a new concept for it to try and show what this neighborhood could be done to look like without obviously building new things. So that's pretty cool. Quick tip for drawing observation. Projection image drawings. You can basically scrap that because we have computers now and stuff is so, uh, so much better. Just do stuff in Photoshop. These are all from projections. Don't really need to worry about that. See, before our computers, this is how we would project stuff if we had to. So, overlay and trace, which is fine for specific things. In fact, let's see. Uh, a lot of this clip art that was used here, he used in this drawing. Sources for tracing cars and landscaping. Yeah, it's called Google Images. Uh, once again, he took this basic perspective that was already set up, turned it into something else. So all the perspective work is already done. Took this downtown photograph and then projected out what long-range development could look like by adding buildings and stuff. And the street's already there. That's pretty cool. Tracing from aerial photographs. A lot of good reference stuff in here. More quick tips. Learning your CCCs, the cameras and understanding ABCs of drawing isn't enough to you meet the graphic demands of today's world. Camera, copier, computer. Oh, he like said, this was just a fun book. I know most of you guys tune into my channel for comic book type stuff. Well, this is the this is definitely more concept art for uh not obviously sci-fi design and stuff like that but real world concept stuff which i still really really love so but there are quick tips in here like using the photograph technique and then the perspective is already laid out so you can just add more stuff to it no problem things like that are quicker once again photograph Perspectives work out. You just go in and add stuff to it. Photographing plans for models. I mean, I'm sure all this stuff is just totally done on uh, in computers now. It's a, it's a sad, sad day. So it looks like they took this. Yes, this is a blow-up section of right here. This is flat, and they projected the buildings up real quick, laid it out. Then they put tracing paper over that and trace it off again, adding in little details. And there it is colored. Redevelopment drawings from digital photographs. Yep, same thing, adding details to existing drawings. In other words, I could go outside, take a picture of my street that I live on, 
trace it off to where my house is the exact same, but redo everybody else's house on the street to really high concept design stuff and entitle it the holdout because that one lone house is the holdout from redevelopment. This is cool. Tracing this photo off. Taking the plans that are right here. Projecting lines up, popping them into this photograph he traced off and then finishing off. And you can see the new development with the nice mountains in the background. Same thing, drawing for multiple photos. So this is good because this is about using photo reference. And it still, still applies. Drawing from computers, the emerging computer. Yes, this book is from 2002. Uh, this is a digital model from back then. This is basic, but you can still do stuff like this in SketchUp, the, the 3D modeling program. You do something like this, and then boom, you add the details and such to it, and there you go. So... You can take these 3D models. That's a basic 3D model. And this is stuff I do. I'll just build basic stuff and then add all these details to it. So this is along the lines of stuff that I do now, taking 3D models that are really basic and then drawing over top of them and adding to them and such. So this is really cool for that. Like this is cool because these are just faces of buildings here. But by having those faces, he can draw, you know, you can draw the roofs and stuff. This is cool. This is basically what SketchUp looks like now. So this is really a good example of something I might take from SketchUp. And then once I'm done with it, it's tightened up and looks like that. So yeah, so this is actually a pretty cool chapter, I must say. I must say. And then here we go, getting to the early stages, even in 2002, of drawing right on the screen. Uh, tools of the trade. Probably been nice to have this uh, chapter up front, but that's okay. It just goes through tools. You know, some people do use red pencil in comics. Um, keep your pencil sharp. I want to see what inking their oh, pencil and marker. I guess it doesn't say exactly what type of markers they use. Uh, choose a marker and stay with it. So they might describe the type of marker. You know, you think they could have shown uh, photographs. Paper vellum and mylar for doing tracings and stuff. Vellum is a heavier tracing paper. It's what we used to do ink samples on before there were blue lines. You get kind of in the feel of Neil Adams, too, because Neil, back in the 70s and stuff, and when he was working in advertising, those guys utilized a lot of these techniques. Drawing trees. The success of color. So there's even a nice little chapter going into color and planning and stuff. All these uh, color rules still apply. So you can check that out. Color and technology. Look at that, it's so nice, done by hand. You'd think, there was Photoshop out at the time, you'd think they would talk about Photoshop. This is talking about colored pencil. That's cool, and the magic of markers. I mean, they are called magic markers. I got magic markers as a kid. I opened them up, held my hand over the paper for like 20 minutes until it started cramping. And you know what? The paper was still white. No magic came out of those markers. So that is, uh, that's the book. And then once again, quick tips. A lot of nice art in here. Your completed drawings, save and file drawings. Yes, thank you. Uh, most people, I think, know that. But here it is, saving in, in the computer and such. Here it does talk about drawing resources. So pencils, colored pencils, pens, markers. So it does break down what type of... Uh, what type of uh, tools do you use? Pentel sign pen. Those are good pens. I still actually have that. 
uh, Statler Lumicolor uh, 318 fine pen, fine pen. So there you go, Statler. Talks about erasers, equipment, uh, computer, Dell, Inspirion 8000, laptop. Yeah. Not anymore. It even goes into printer. I mean, once again, this is from 2002, but you could probably still, you know, get some get some good stuff from it. I know just from looking at this book, which I haven't looked at and since we moved in since we moved into the house we live in now in 2013, I have not opened this book. I've only put it on a bookshelf. So thank you. Uh, because of doing these book looks, I'm experiencing these books once again like they're brand new. And I really, it makes me go, this book needs to go next to my desk so I can grab it and not halfway across the room. So that's where it's going, Drawing Shortcuts. I've been your host, Andy Smith. Please check out my campaign, First Man, Superhero Action and Adventure for a New Generation. No agenda except to make you happy and put a smile on your face. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Like and subscribe to my channel. Please back First Man now. Bye-bye, everybody. Bet First Man 2 now, live on Indiegogo.